Christmas I gave you my heart But the very next day You gave it away This year To save me from tears I'll give it to someone special Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel my name is Anika Lane and today is day 7 of 12 Days of Foundation. 12 Days of Foundation is a new series on my channel where I'll be testing out 12 different foundation. The foundation will range from 6 high-end foundation to 6 drugstore foundation. So let's begin. The foundation that I will be reviewing today is this foundation right here and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. This foundation retails for $17.99. It comes in 12 shades and it is a 0.19 fluid ounce bottle. The shade that I got this foundation in is Mocha and this is the darkest shade that they have. So before we start to apply the foundation, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my skin. I have oily to combination skin. I have dark spots and along my cheeks and jaw and I'm starting to break out a little by trying out all these foundation but that's just you know that's whatever so we're gonna see what this foundation claims to do and um, I'm gonna pull it up here on my phone and it says forget at filters the Revlon photo ready insta filter foundation is a flawless finished foundation with a built-in blender to make you look good in person as you do online okay <laughs> it says the unique built-in sponge applicator makes it easy to blend uh, foundation innovative formula works with your skin type to even and smooth the skin tone full range of high definition shades fresh face natural finish medium to buildable coverage high definition filter uh, technology captures and transform any light to blur and soften flaws leaving the app perfect filtered look um, SPF 20 protection all day wear. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the foundation as usual I have the Fenty Beauty Primer on. So this is the foundation right here It comes in this plastic bottle with this clear cap and it comes with the um, oh, With the sponge. So we're gonna use a sponge instead of the brush since the sponge is one of the claims that it will blend in your foundation So it says a twist base to dispense foundation. So we're gonna twist the base. I Don't know how much you should twist I'm like really scared I'm gonna put it on my hand I guess so let's see I'm gonna try this out on my hand and see oh there we go There's no foundation coming out. Oh, there we go. Oh, took it a few try. We got some more foundation that came out. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. I feel like I should have wet the sponge. Like I don't feel the sponge is doing anything at all other than a drag in the foundation. I honestly don't like the sponge. I feel like I should have wet it or something. I feel like it's just like painting and it's just leaving my face really streaky. I don't I don't like it at all. And the shade, I don't know if this is really a good shade. Match for me too. This is like a dry brush on my face. Okay, so we're gonna ditch the uh, sponge because I do not like the sponge at all. Is really dry and ugh. and we're gonna go in with our Morphe M439 brush and blend this in to be honest I don't think the, the sponge was the problem I think the foundation is the pro is the problem I don't know what the heck Ok, 
Okay guys, so this is one layer of the foundation. I'm gonna go ahead with some more. I don't know how I feel about this foundation. Um, mm, yeah. So I apply the foundation, I apply a second layer of this foundation, and um, I'm going to bring you guys up close so you guys can see what this foundation looks like, and um, yeah. So now that we are up close and personal, I don't know what this, I can't really tell how this foundation looks in the camera, but in real life, sitting here right now, even my sister can tell you that my pores are extremely large, it's really hard to blend in this foundation, it's like... Um, clinging on to like every dry patch on my skin and it just doesn't look right to me like in person like sitting here right now looking at the um, little what do you call that thing um, viewfinder it looks really nice like it looks like I have like this nice you know skin finish or whatever but it's not my cup of tea I had to ditch the sponge because it was not working for me and I went to the Morphe M43 brush and I don't know and I feel like this foundation looks a little gray on me. I don't know. What do you guys think? It just makes my skin look really dry too. And I don't have that dry of a skin. That is so weird. Um, so I'm going to give this foundation a few hours of... Oh wait, I forgot. Let me put some powder on. So we're going to go in with our usual powder. The Bare Mineral Powder. And I'm going to put the powder on the right side of my face. So I already applied the powder on the right side of my face. But looking at this foundation on the left side. And how it looks. And how it dried down until it's powdery, dry looking finish. I wouldn't even want to put powder on it. It's just like, it doesn't... I don't know. But I just put powder on this side and it's set. I don't know. Can you guys see the difference between non-powder and powder? So right now it is 626. And I'll be back in a few hours and tell you guys what I think about this foundation. As usual, I will do the three tests, the transfer test, the wear test, and the flashback test. And I'll let you guys know what I think about this foundation in the end. Hey guys, so I am back. I've been wearing this foundation for two hours. It is 8.25 right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tell you guys what I think about this foundation. So the first thing about this foundation is that the shade Mocha is way too light. I've tried Revlon foundation and also in the shade Mocha and it's never been this light. So it really was like weird. It also looks really great on me. So we're going to see if this foundation held up to what it claims to do. So this foundation says that the unique built-in sponge applicator makes it easy to blend the foundation. It does not make it easy to blend the foundation. I understand like the idea behind it and it saves so much time. I believe that you should be able to wet the sponge, but with it being attached to the bottle and, you know, the foundation, it wasn't ideal to wet it. But I understand the idea, but it just didn't work together and the sponge really didn't blend in the foundation. It just moved it around and just left, like, left the foundation looking really streaky. It says, work with your skin type to even and smooth skin tone. Um, I really didn't see my uh, skin, um... Uh, looking smooth smoother so I think that this foundation didn't held up to that also full range of high definition shades I don't think so I feel like they could have went a little darker I've seen Revlon foundation went darker than this so I don't know why it was so light um, fresh face natural finish I don't think my face look fresh it just makes me look really dry and um, I don't the natural finish Okay, I can see like it, you know, natural finish. I, I, with this foundation, I wouldn't wear powder. Like I feel like it, it just stands up on its own without powder. I don't think you need powder with this foundation, just because the way it dries down. Um, it says medium buildable coverage. Um, yeah, I would say like this is a medium coverage. Um, I'm pretty sure you could get, you know, you could build it up, but you wouldn't want to build it up because it just, it just leaves your face looking dry, and I don't think you want to build up that much of a coverage. It says blur and soften flaws. I don't think that my um, flaws are even blurred out or softened. I can see them. I feel like this one they should make them more enhanced and SPF 20 protection and all day wear. I would say this foundation will be a good idea for all, all day wear. Um, I have oily skin and I really can't see the oils coming through with this foundation which is one good thing about this foundation. So one of the tests that I did is um, the wear test to see if this foundation could um, hold up to my oily skin and I feel like it did a good job. The second test was the uh, transfer test and this foundation does transfer. So this is what the foundation looks like um, transferred. I don't know if you guys can see that but it did transfer a little but not too much. 
Um, and the last thing that I did was a flashback test and I'm going to insert the picture right here and this foundation does a flashback um, So yeah, so my overall review for this foundation I feel like this foundation wasn't a match for me the shade was off. It was way too light They could have went a little darker um, It looks um, it looks gray on my skin and it doesn't hold up to any of the claim that it does other than wear all day um so the idea of the sponge i feel like the sponge should have been detachable where you were able to wet it and reattach it somehow and be able to like clean it because i don't think that having i don't feel like having a sponge here and then just using it all the time is actually you know sanitary so i don't know can you even take the sponge off i don't know so yeah no you cannot take the sponge off i feel like they should have did it in a way where you were able to take the sponge off and put it back on and yeah okay guys so that's it for day seven of 12 days of foundation i'll see you guys in day eight don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to click that um what is it that notification button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye